We found out this marks the 57th traffic fatality in the year, a spike for the city of Portland. Tonight, our Jacqueline Abad is digging deeper. She spoke with investigators. She's live right now with their message. Jacqueline. Liz Elizabeth, well, the man was hit near this intersection, like you mentioned, Northeast Halsey and 119th. Now, we don't know the victim's name, but investigators tell me that he died two days before his 41st birthday. His birthday would have been the day after Christmas. Now, in this case, there are no witnesses and little evidence left at the scene. Portland police is now trying to find out who hit him and then took off. Investigators say it appears the man was walking in the bike lane or the shoulder along Halsey when the driver hit him and continued driving east. That man flew 200 feet. Investigators believe the driver was in a sedan or small SUV. Now this year there's been a spike in traffic deaths. In 2020 there's been 57 so far. Now if you compare that to 2014, there was 28 deaths that year. And back then PBB Traffic Division had more staffing. The, the Port and Police Bureau is trying to do their best, um, but we need people to drive safely. The Traffic Division is about ready to take a major slash and cut in personnel uh, again. And, you know, my fear is that we are going to see even a further rise in traffic fatalities. In this case, investigators say the car probably has damage on the passenger side windshield or on the body of the car. Now, if you saw something last night around 830 in this intersection or know who did it, contact Portland Police. Now, Sergeant Barnum is also asking people to drive responsibly this holiday season. So that means thinking about your ride share options. And coming up tonight at 5 and 6, I spoke with a man who works here in this area, and he describes he actually told me that he sees people walking in the bike lane and the shoulder often. You'll hear more from him tonight at five and six reporting live in Northeast Portland, Jacqueline Abad, point six news. <laughs>